We had one cultists. In our previous episode, we left things off after exploring the town of Cascadia, which has been overrun by basically everything under the sun. Needless to say, the residents did not have a good time living here. In any case, we need to continue our journey up north to Stellar Bay, but our path is currently blocked by these two Manta Queens who appear to be smart enough to not attack me when I've got the high ground. If they're not going to come to us, let's take the fight to them and possibly get ourselves killed. Parvati, Sam, I hope you guys have updated your wills because we may die. Um, under my leadership, we will most definitely die. If not now, then maybe later. Area assessment. Tough stains and resistant contaminants ahead. Atta boy, Sam. Atta boy. That's some positive thinking. Think of these giant murder beasts as tough stains. That's it. That's some forward thinking right there. Good grief. Okay, so I think plasma weapons don't work so well on uh, mantisaurs. So let's stick with the old officer's spine. Um. <laughs> I gotta say, my paltry little short sword looks, well, quite paltry in comparison to their gigantic mantis legs. Good grief. Okay, um... Right, so after this thing looks down... Look down... We go. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Come on. We got this. We got this. Here we go. Boom! Right in your face! Right in your face holes! Nice! Whoa! What is that? It's got some weird belly thing going on. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. It's been blinded, I think. And I am on fire. Fantastic. Oh, shoot. Uh, Parvati? Some help here? Thank you. <laughs> Jeez, all right. Let me just stab you right in the eyes. Fantastic. Whoa, what is that? Huh. Oh, shit. It's not dead. I thought it was dead. I was just admiring my handiwork. Holy crap. I cannot believe that we're still alive. That is incredible. And its antennae were going freaky. So for a brief second there, when I had the TTD on and I was staring at its, um, I guess, boobs? Its udders? I saw weaken, I think. Wait, does that mean that the belly sack is their weak point? Hmm, interesting. I wonder. Huh. Okay, well, maybe it might be a good idea to use the TTD on uh, fighting more things, just to see the weak spots of the other beasties and whatnot. I'm assuming with humans, the uh, headshots are, um, the, uh, well, the head is the weakest point, I would assume. I could be wrong. Uh, any more beasties out there? Oh, that's a Raptodon. I think we're okay. Oh, no, we are not okay. The Mantisaur soldier over there. Uh, any more stuff? Uh, Mantisaur drone. Dead Raptodon. Mantipillar. And what else? No Manta Queen? No Manta Car? Or a Manta SUV? Or a Manta Tank? Or perhaps even a Manta Armored Personnel Carrier? No? Where do we draw the line with these Manta things? You know what? A Manta car would be awesome. I just kind of imagined it would be a Mantisaur um, used as a mount, which sounds incredible. So, one drone, one soldier, one Manta pillar, two soldiers. Okay. Is there any way for me to uh, draw this one's attention without drawing the other's attention? Mmm, I'm just going to assume that the answer is a resounding no. Alright, so let's just go for it. You guys ready? Here we go. Right in its- oh! I just maimed it. Okay, I think. Alright, blind it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think we killed it. Guys, guys back up. Back up. Run away. <laughs> it's time to employ uh, Sir Robin's strategy of running away. Uh-oh. It's coming at me. Drone is coming at me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Parvati? Oh. Okay. Okay, I think we've stunned them so far. Oh shit. This thing is not stunned. And Parvati is just screaming her lungs out. Okay. Just juice up a little bit. Alright, that one's down. Stop attacking Parvati, you son of a bitch. 
You cute little motherfucker. Nice. <laughs> I like that last uh, moment there where we just kind of stared at each other for like a full-on second before I uh, decided to, um... Oh, it's kind of cute. If I ever saw these things in real life, I would definitely give it a poke. Not in like a sexual way. It just... It looks like it has like soft gelatinous skin. I mean, not it's like carapace in the back, but like it's underbelly. Like, I could definitely see myself cuddling up to this thing. Assuming that it could be uh, domesticated. And it's nails maybe filed down slightly. Um, and just, I don't know, using it as like a um, pillow or something? That would be awesome. But, uh... Anyways, <laughs> we've survived another fight with these Manta things, so... I'd say that uh, maybe we're on the right path. And actually, um, Parvati, I do wonder if maybe I should give you back the Light Machine Gun Mark II. Mm, I feel like the Manta Beasts are big enough that maybe even if you decide to use it, uh, use your old um, light machine gun as a, I don't know, boxing glove, it could still work well, hopefully. Maybe? Knock on wood? Manta player with nothing. And wrapped it on with some meat. Oh, another terror beak. Or terror ray, rather, sorry. Okay. What do you have on you, sir? Nothing? Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. These things look familiar. Actually, I think... I think mushrooms like this actually exist on Earth. Just on a much smaller scale, if I'm not mistaken. These kind of just look like toadstools. And I think these are also mushrooms that exist on Earth. But much more enlarged. As in the uh, Earth versions are smaller. Whoa. What is that? What is that? Wow, wow, wee wow. Is that like a power plant? It kind of seems like it would be a power plant. With what I assume to be dead bodies around. Um, Kind of looks like three gigantic metallic boobs. Jutting out of the earth. And arcing electricity to what I assume are symmetrically uh, opposed metallic boobs jutting out of the uh, other side of this canyon. I'm basically just describing this to you as if you're blind and you're not seeing what I'm seeing right now. So in case you are visually impaired and you're watching this, um, that's exactly what's going on. Just imagine a symmetrical uh, canyon with three metallic boobs jutting out and sparking um, giant arcs of electricity at each other. Sure. What is this place? It seems to be another Rizzo's colony. Wait, is this just the other side of Cascadia? Huh. Oh, I think this bridge actually leads to that, um, that gigantic metal gate that's being blocked off by the singer-songwriter seal. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I remember one of the logs saying that they had to cordon off, um, part of the town. Oh, so maybe the people of uh, Cascadia are still, uh, living here. Whoa. That'd be cool, I guess. But, uh, what are these blue wispy things? Very cool. Got it. Whoa! Parvati. Did you murder this poor homeless man? Sam, was it you? Are you channeling your inner HK-47? Or was it you, Parvati? I'm assuming this guy said some uh, bad shit about uh, an engine or something, and then Parvati just lost her shit, throttled him with her own bare hands, like took her uh, gloves off, and just throttled him. I love that word. Throttle. Such a fun word. Iconoclast. Huh. I wonder if they're somehow related to the whole Byzantium place. Because when I think Iconoclast, I think of the time in the Byzantine Empire when they banned all uh, religious iconography. Hmm. So maybe these guys are like a rebel faction or something. Assuming that my theory is correct. Which is... Most likely not, um, not the case. Whoa! This planet is beautiful, holy shit. Gotta say, I mean, when I first came to Cascadia, or this region, I guess, I wasn't quite sure if I made the right choice by deciding to uh, leg it all the way over to Stellar Bay. But looking at how beautiful this entire place is, I'm kind of glad that we decided to leg it instead. Whoa! Sam. 
I did not hear you approach me at all. That is creepy as shit, dude. Look at how still he is. He is most definitely contemplating my death. Look at that. His gun has uh, trained on me at all times. Son of a bitch. Nice little um, butt scrubber there. Fantastic. <laughs> but as I was saying, this place is pretty beautiful. And I feel like these trees are also... Um, uh, I think they also exist on Earth. I don't know what they're called. They might be native to the continent of Africa, though. Not exactly sure. The Earth is uh, pretty fucking diverse with its, um, well, biodiversity. And I think uh, small mushroom ver uh, fungus versions of these things exist, too. I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah. All of this just kind of seems familiar to me, is why I'm pointing this out. Can I go this way? I can, but it only leads to my death, so in other words, I can't. Well, thankfully, Stellar Bay is only one kilometer away from us, so we're getting pretty close. We are not getting pretty close. We're only like one quarter of the way over. Fuck me. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna be a pretty, uh... Long journey, isn't it? And also, uh, dead marauders with uh, missing legs. Also a um, species that exists on Earth. Though, usually, they do come with legs. Unless they're the uh, hungry uh, marauder variety, that is. Okay. Um, I'm thinking maybe we should just stick with the road? Yeah. Considering how difficult it is to see shit in the... Um, I'm just gonna call this barley. Is it wheat? Or is it just yellow grass? I'm just gonna call it barley because it just sounds nicer. But yeah, it's hard to see shit um, unless you're standing inside of it, I think. But even still, it's not like you can... Whoa, what the... Oh. Uh, got a raptid on Mauler. Any other raptidons around? Entering quiet mode. Yes, Sam. You are very quiet. Because <laughs> these things usually come in uh, packs, right? So far, I don't see any of their uh, raptidons. But let me get in a little bit closer, and perhaps we'll look for more red triangles and whatnot. Okay, what do we see, guys? What do we see? Anything? Oh god, a Megaraptodon, and either a dead uh, Mantipillar or a sleeping Mantipillar. I'm assuming it's dead, because it seems... Just based on the carnage that I saw in the uh, in Cascadia with the dead bodies and whatnot, I feel like the Raptorons attack the um, um, Mantisaurs and vice versa. So, is there a way for me to attract this Raptodon Mauler without attracting the uh, Mega Raptodon? Because I would rather not fight that thing um, right now, especially not when I'm thirsty. So let me just drink some Lemon Slap, which is of course just caffeinated sugary uh, urine and uh, go to town on this bad boy. Uh-oh, this bad boy is about to go to town on me. That's fine, guys, that's fine. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Right in your face, bitch! Gotcha! Do it again, Sam! Nice. Guys, I think we're okay. I think we somehow avoided the attention of the uh, Mega Raptodon. Good God. Those things are fucking terrifying, not gonna lie. Um, oh! Shit. What's this? Uh... Oh, uh, cute little sleeping wrapped it on stalker. Well, I mean... Seeing how close the Mega Raptodon is, I'm assuming that if I attack this thing, the Mega Raptodon's just gonna wake up. So, if we're gonna do that, I'd say... Let's just use our sneak attack on the Mega Raptodon instead. Sure. Watch this be, like, the worst strategy ever. Alright. Is there a way for me to check out your weak spots first? Mm, blind. What else? Cripple. And... That's it? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's awake. It's awake. Oh, God. Alright. Cripple it. Cripple it. Come on. Come on, Demers. Got this, girl. Got this. Oh, no. It is trying to rip my face off. Or breed with my face. Whatever the case is, I do not appreciate your attempts, Mr. Mega Raptodon. Oh fuck. Parvati, go for it. 
That's right. Feel a sharp sting of Parvati's hammer in your face, so I guess maybe it's not that sharp. Or stingy. Is the other one dead too? Damn, guys. You guys are really rocking it today. Knock on wood. Watch us all just die immediately. Fucking just... Whoa. Stray uh, nuclear missile just drops on my face. Good god. So what? This one's dead too? When the hell did you guys kill this thing? Wait, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I just thought it stopped existing or something. It was so embarrassed that it missed out on this Royal Rumble. That it just phased out of existence. Happens a lot, you know, when you're super embarrassed. Which is why, um... My Grand Poobah always used to say that I should never uh, piss myself in uh, public. Unless... It's part of the uh, local custom, or perhaps I'm trying to, uh... Woo a sexy lady. In that case, I should definitely piss myself, um, all over the place. Okay. Mmm... How are these... Rose streetlights still, like... Active? Oh, I guess the uh, power plant is still, uh, online. And whatnot. But... That just looks like a dead end. Um... Emphasis on dead. There's two wrapped on Colossi. Wrapped on Mauler, wrapped on Mauler, wrapped on Spitter. Good god. Okay, I don't think I'm quite tough enough to take that on. Um, can I go back a little bit? Alright, maybe I can go around this massive rock formation. Yeah, there we go. The fuck is that? Oh, it's a road sign. Wait a minute. I couldn't see it from here. So that's a road sign. Um... How the fuck is someone supposed to see that from here? Wait, 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 here. Let me see it from that thing's perspective. And I should be able to see where it's visible from, right? But first, just gotta make sure that we check these nooks and crannies for dead bodies and whatnot. Whoa. This looks vaguely sexual. Oh, that's why they look so familiar. They look like the um, alien eggs. From the hit movie series and book series and, well, game series and basically hit everything. The uh, Xenomorphs. You know, the, um, the facehugger eggs and whatnot. So yeah, that's definitely a road sign. Pretty cool looking. But, if I look at it from here... Sulfur pits. Whoa! Holy shit! Okay. So... It, are these sulfur pits the kind of sulfur pits that you... You know, um, take a little uh, dip in to enjoy the uh, relaxing um, rotten egg aroma. Or are these the sulfur pits that'll make your um, uh, melt your face off in the face of your grandmother too. Even though she's on the opposite side of the planet. So anyways. Well, really? That's the only part of the road where you can see this fucking sign. This giant fucking rock is blocking this ro- Who put this here? What on earth were they thinking? Good grief. Oh, it could be that. Um, when they first set this thing up, perhaps they had Dwayne the Rock Johnson standing over by the road. Um, but then- And then they were told, plant the sign next to the rock. What they meant was, plant the uh, sign next to Dwayne the Rock Johnson, who was in the correct location, but then Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you know, had some charity event, being a nice guy and all that such, decided to attend it, because, you know, he's got a busy schedule and all that stuff. Didn't really have the time to, um, leave a note saying that he had to uh, bugger off and, uh, be more productive with his life, uh, instead of just standing around by a road. Um, so they saw this giant bulging rock and decided that that was the rock that they were looking for. No. It should have been Dwayne The Rock Johnson. What a bunch of dinguses, these dudes who planted the uh, signs. Oh, shit. Another raptid on. About to get my fucking uh, face eaten off while I'm talking about Dwayne The Rock Johnson over here. But can you imagine a world where basically, like, all road signs are accompanied by clones of Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Just waving at people, being super friendly, super wholesome. That would be fucking amazing. Now, that's the kind of world that I want to live in. Um, this kind of world where I get my face eaten off by raptorons and whatnot, less so for sure. 
All right, so I see three red triangles. What's this other one here? The Raptor on Stalker. Um, okay. I want to see if there's anything more around here. Because I don't want to attract any uh, Mega Raptodons and whatnot. Alright, seems like maybe we're okay to tussle with this one. Yep, no other red triangles besides those ones over there. So let's go for it, guys. Eat shit, Raptodon Stalker. Nothing personnel, kid. Just, you must die. Oh, God. Oh, they're coming in hot. They're coming in heavy. Guys. Until I suss out the whole sulfur um, pit situation, do not go swimming in those things. Still not sure if they're meant to be uh, sulfur spas that just smell like rotten eggs but are um, otherwise uh, harmless. Um, but are also very embarrassing to uh, to drink if you accidentally uh, slip and fall into a, a sulfur spa. I'm not talking from personal experience. I don't got much use for sulfur in my own work. Neat that it's here though. Okay, so Sam just told me that this is, in fact, caustic. I don't know if I believe him, though. Because I'm assuming that he's just trying to get me killed. And this might be some, like, um, fountain of immortality or something, right? You never know. Why am I so far down to the ground? Am I that short? I mean, I do like short ladies, but, um... Damn. Okay. I can't even go... Sam, you liar! This isn't caustic at all! Oh, God! <laughs> Turns out Sam was not lying. <laughs> I just thought I couldn't even enter it. Good grief. All right, guys. Um, after careful examination and experimentation, I've determined that the sulfur pits are, in fact, deadly as fuck. What the fuck was this guy doing? What was a sublight thug doing with these two sprats in the mud? Were you having sex with them? Dude. Dude. I mean, I don't mean to kink shame, but unless an animal decides to have sex with you, you having sex with the animal against its uh, own will, that is, that is sexual assault on an animal. Do not do it, all right? Hunting rifle ultra. Oh, nice. Wait, is that better than the sniper rifle that I have now? Um, it is not. Gotcha. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I feel like the whole... Being able to preview whatever's in the uh, locked um, thingamajigs, not so useful. Got ourselves a Raptor on Colossus and a Raptor on Mauler. What's with the white part in their health bars? Have they been wounded? Hmm. How tough is this guy? Level 15, not too bad. Okay. Not too bad. But I do wonder if I should explore in that uh, area a bit more. Um... Let me take a gander. I used to say that plants need sulfur to grow in. Here there's just tubs of it lying about. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sam, did you just respond to Parvati's uh, quip about sulfur with a very sad version of the Spacer's Choice jingle? Burr, 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 burr. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> That's like the version of a song that you hear when the um, battery on your portable speakers are like dying out or something, or your boombox. <laughs> Fucking Sam. Hilarious. Alright. Got ourselves a Raptor on Spitter, a Raptor on Stalker, uh, what else? Raptor on Mauler, Raptor on Mauler, and otherwise. I think we might be okay to tussle with these guys. All right, guys, why don't you uh, back up a little bit? Course, and I'll draw them to us or something. Or at least try to. All right, let's go for the stalker over there. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We got more than uh, we got more than I uh, bargained for. Fuck me. Oh, shit, guys. Oh, shit. Yep. Yep. There, there. Oh, no. There's like four of them coming in real hot and heavy. Fuck me. Alright, blind it, blind it, stab it, bump it, bip it, fuck it, alright, two down, oh shit, Parvati's screaming, Parvati no, get out of the, uh, get out of the acid, you fool, wait, are we done? 
Maybe I was freaking out for nothing. I'm just so scared of like someone dying or something just because I'm being careless and shit. I mean, it's not to discount the fact that I am being careless, but uh, still. Oh, good god. Okay, um, so it seems that maybe pulling these uh, beasties one at a time is not really a viable strategy. Yeah, unlike uh, MMORPGs, that is. Any more dudes over here? Mm. Sometimes it's so hard to see these things because the entire world is so vibrant. They don't really stick out, but I guess that's kind of the point of... Um, point, right? Because, I mean, if you're a predator, you don't want to be seen from like a fucking mile off. Unless um, you're the dreaded uh, T-Pose predator. In which case, uh, all you really do is just assert your dominance all over the place. And you just kind of like peacock all over the place and just T-Pose all over the place and just all over the place. And that's your um, strategy too. It's... It's a, it's a viable strategy for that particular species because once the uh, prey see just how dominant the uh, T-Pose predators are, they just lie down and die because they know that they have no chance to survive make their time. And I saw like three triangles over... Fucking hell, stop slipping all over the place, Debris. I saw like three triangles over there. What exactly are we dealing with here? Oh god, another fucking Mega Raptodon. And that is level 20. Yeah, let's not tussle with that thing right now. It's like fucking four levels higher than I am right now. Good grief. Alright, guys. Uh, I'm slightly lost, not gonna lie. I mean, it's not that difficult to get lost here. I mean, it's not that easy to get lost here, I guess is what I meant to say, really. Um, wrapped it on Spitter. Dead Mantisaur. Or Manta Queen, rather. And another Raptid on Spitter. Whoa! What lies beyond? A Mega... Oh, fuck me. Right, how tough is this one? 21? Okay. Even worse. Fuck. Uh... Shit. How do I... How do I get around? Okay. Let me see if maybe there's another... But, wait... Doesn't this lead directly into the Mega Raptodon? Okay, so that's a Raptodon Colossus. Which is different from the uh, Mega Raptodon. And a couple of Raptodon Maulers. Um, assuming that we don't pull the um, Mega Raptodon, I feel like we should be okay. But why don't you guys get okay. set up over there for now, and I'll draw them to us. I say, of course. I mean, if it doesn't work out, then we'll just uh, bugger off like nobody's business, I think. Mm. Alright, here we go. Here we go, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's a lot more fucking uh, triangles than I expected. Shit, guys. Shit. No, 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 no. Don't stay. Fucking run. Run. No. Parvati, don't you dare die. Don't you dare die on me, girl. Don't you fucking dare. Are we alive? Returning. I guess we're alive. <laughs> I thought for sure we were done for. But fuck me. How many of those bastards did I pull with that one uh, thing? Good grief. I didn't think that they were that close. Shit. Uh, why don't you guys say put over here? The unit is in motion. <laughs> I love that he makes that noise with his mouth. Um, Or, you know is a vocal box or whatever. All right, so wrapped it on Mauler, wrapped it on Mauler. Um, wrapped it on Mauler and wrapped it on Colossus. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to just get Parvati and uh, Sam to chill out while I try taking these guys on by myself or something. At least that way, maybe can like kill one and just bugger off. They don't know if I trust the AI to uh, be able to pull this off. I don't know if I can trust myself to pull it off. So I think I saw like five triangles, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you know what? Maybe it's just um, the Raptodon Colossus and the uh, Mala's around it. Could be that. Shoot. Um. Well, I'd say let's probably end the episode off here for now. 
Uh, we'll come back tomorrow and then we'll try tussling with those uh, <laughs> Raptodons and test our luck and also test our might. And hopefully we can uh, channel the power of um, Scorpion or Reptile. Or I guess Reptile would be a, a blessing in this case. He would make us invisible and we can just spit acid all over their faces and eat their faces or something. I don't know. We'll see. But it is also getting dark, so that's going to be interesting. Good grief. We are about maybe less than halfway there. So I think in our next episode, we'll be able to uh, get to Stellar Bay. Knock on wood. All right, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.